Hello friends, welcome back to All on Law. This is a medical video lecture. Medical video lecture microbiology. And today's topic of discussion is cyclic AMP. Okay inducers inducers so it's a kind of a major toxins we are talking about and here I'm going to give you an examples of uh, cyclic AMP inducers okay so before starting a discussion on this I would request you to subscribe to our channel and please do share our videos with your friends so guys as you know the cyclic AMP inducers these are really very important bacteria. Okay, cyclic AMP inducer. So you need to know what you call the mechanism of action or the bacteria that come into the category of this cyclic AMP inducers. They have their toxins, they have their mode of action and how they present in the disease and what's the pathogenesis okay I'm gonna talk briefly over here and this is for a USMLE step on examination so let's start a camp inducer the most important bacteria is can you guess enterotoxic enterotoxic E. coli enterotoxic E. coli Guys, this tell me whether it's a gram positive or a gram negative. It's a gram negative. Gram negative. Okay. Excellent. Now tell me what type of toxin this type of bacteria will produce. The toxin is produced here is LT that's heat labile toxin heat labile toxin okay so this kind of the you know there are different types of e coli and here in a cyclic amp inducer it's an enterotoxic e coli that's a gram negative and the toxin produced by it is heat labile toxin that is a elt okay so how does this LT acts? This LT stimulates an adenylate cyclase adenylate cyclase by ADP ADP ribosylation 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 of GTP of GTP binding protein try to know the function of this this is really very important okay the heat level toxin produced by the enterotoxic E. coli stimulates an adenylate cyclase by ADP ribosylation of GTP binding protein. Okay. The, and now what's the role in the disease? What's the pathogenesis? Okay. The pathogenesis over here, this labile toxin along with the heat stable toxin promotes the secretion of the fluids and the electrolytes from the intestine epithelium so from the intestinal epithelium if this is the intestine and this is the epithelium they start to secrete the fluids outside the lumen outside the epithelial cell within the lumen so that leads to diarrhea got it guys so try to remember a cyclic AMP inducer the first one is a enterotoxic E. coli let's move on to the second important is Bacillus 
and thraces. Bacillus and thraces. Tell me it's a gram positive or a gram negative. It's gram positive. Okay. Right? Yes. And what type of toxin it produces? It produces a toxin known as anthrax toxin. Three proteins make two toxins. Okay. And what type of mode of action it has? It has different factors that play a role. That is EF, LF, and we have a PA. What's a EF is edema factor. That's nothing but adenylate cyclase. Edema, fac ed uh, edema factor, adenylate cyclase. Lethal factor. Okay. Then we have the other one is a protective antigen. PA is protective antigen. Okay, guys, got it. Now, how does it act? They decrease the phagocytosis and causes edema and kills the cell. Decreases phagocytosis. Causes edema because of edema factor and kills the cell okay so this is how the bacillus anthrax toxin that is anthrax toxin acts okay so it has a to what you call a, a toxin known as anthrax toxin and it has the factors responsible for that they execute the procedure of this, so what you call um, phago, um, killing the cell by edema factor, lethal factor, and protective antigen. Okay, guys? So let's move on to the other type of camp inducer. Third one, Vibrio cholerae. Okay? Tell me if it's a gram positive or a gram negative. It's a gram negative. Okay, it's a gram negative. What type of toxin it produces? It produces a toxin known as cholera toxin. Okay, it produces a cholera toxin. Right? So, how does it act? What's the mode of action? How does it act? It acts same as what you call enterotoxic E. coli like it produces the lethal uh, what you call uh, heat labile toxin that's a ELT okay it goes and stimulates what you call adenylate cyclase okay and the adenylate cyclase by ADP ribosylation of GTP binding protein right right got it that's right and this results in profuse watery diarrhea okay right guys so this is how it acts right let's move on to the next last camp inducer that's uh, Bordetella pertussis. Bordetella pertussis is a gram, tell me, it's a gram negative, okay? It's a gram negative. And what type of toxin it produces? It produces a toxin known as a pertussis toxin. Pertussis toxin. Right? Good, excellent. And how does it act? What's the mode of action? This. 
Pertussis toxin ADP riboselates G1 at G not G1 sorry GI the negative regulator of adenide cyclase and this results in increased cyclic AMP so it became a CAMP inducer right so how does it act it's a ADP riboselates a GI okay GFAs of the cell this and the negative regulator of the adenide cyclase this results in the increased cyclic AMP and uh, what's the um, role in the disease how does it act it uh, causes histamine sensitive lymphocytosis promoting islets activating histamine sensitizing lymphocytosis Promoting islets activating, promoting promoting islet islet activating. Okay, guys. So this is about the CAMP inducer. Tell me the bacteria that are included in the CAMP inducer. They are enterotoxic E. coli. Then we have Bacillus anthrax. Then we have Vibricolare and Bordetella pertussis. Okay, guys. If there's any mnemonic in that, please tell me how to remember. Okay. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm sure this video is really very helpful for you. Thank you so much. Take care.